Hey guys, Mike with Bound for Freedom back at it today. You guys are probably noticing a little change of scenery. This is no longer California. We picked up and moved. We actually, that's why I haven't really had any videos lately. Um, kind of been on the uh, whole move situation. Um, it's amazing, it's gonna be good things. We uh, actually packed up and moved um, this past month to Tennessee. So probably looks a little familiar to some people just with the scenery, but we moved back east. We wanted something a little bit better for us um, and our son. So we decided naturally to find a state that would be close to what we're used to, but maybe get a little bit more seasons. And Tennessee seems to be a great fit. We love it so far. We are super happy to be here. Um, and so far, everyone here has been absolutely amazing. Um, we have yet to actually do any trips yet or any exploring. Um, we've been pretty much getting, you know, the house all settled in. We still have a ton of boxes that need to be picked up. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us, but that's to be expected when you move cross country. Um, Still running strong on the Lexus here. Um, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So she's actually having some issues right now. Um, I've got a issue with the wiring. Um, what's happening is, is that the um, remote wire, I think, is staying connected um, even when the vehicle's off. So I've got a electrical gremlin in there somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and try to source that out maybe uh, today, if not tomorrow. Um, and I've also got to rebuild the axles. When I cranked up the torsion bars just a little bit more, um, the drive out here was not so kind to them. Uh, just a lot of uh, friction and heat, about 2000 miles worth of it and consistent. Um, so that stop and go allowing them to cool down. So ripped out the boots. Um, let me show you actually what I got. These I should have done in the very beginning, but I went with the Red Boot upgrade. So apparently these are supposed to be um, a little bit better as far as the angles go, so I can run them um, a little bit more extreme. These are from CVJ Axles out of Colorado. Um, extremely quick uh, shipping, came with grease as well, which I didn't expect. Um, and then I also have a reboot kit that I'm going to be getting from um, Lexus, and I'm gonna be picking that up this week because um, I need to go ahead and rebuild the inners. If I'm gonna pull it all apart, I'm just gonna do everything again. Um, that way I'm not replacing the outers and then tearing everything down and doing the inners. It doesn't make any sense to me. So we're gonna go ahead and do a full rebuild on those and then back to on the road it goes. Um, other than that, I'm still waiting on my Trail Tech or Trail Taylor bumper. Um, I've reached out to Jason, unfortunately, a few times. It's been stuck at powder, apparently. That's the holdup. Now I'm gonna be waiting on shipping. Um, and the fact that I'm no longer in the same state as him, it's probably gonna take a couple extra days or weeks. So maybe by this time next year, I'll have it. One of the two. Um, all kidding aside, um, super excited about it. Um, once that bumper arrives, I'm actually gonna do a full rig walk around. Um, we've made a lot of changes since um, I said I was going to do that. So I'm really excited about it. I've been pretty much just waiting for the bumper to show up, then I was gonna do it. Uh, but now I've since taken off the rooftop tent um, and done a couple of the upgrades, which I'm really excited about. Um, so I'm looking forward to showing you guys more on that. So that's just a quick and dirty update. I'm also no longer self-employed. I'm actually getting a uh, new job, um, actually with cars. So I'm really excited about that. I'll have more information about that soon. Um, but one of the other reasons I wanted to bring this video out today is I wanted to show you guys what we did. So I'm gonna cut to the video now. Good morning. Good morning, guys. <laughs> so we are uh, on our way. We are off. To pick up a 2.0. 2.0. What's a 2.0, baby? Um, it's a, <laughs> a 200 series. All right. I didn't see, know I was gonna be. In, I didn't know I was gonna be in a pop quiz. <laughs> <laughs> so we are on our way. Someone over here needs a new car. Um, we sold the Tahoe, and um, when we decided that we were gonna move out here, we we're trying to thin out expenses. Uh, until we can get out here. Tahoe, unfortunately, was one of those expenses we wanted to cut out. She was expensive. So we went ahead and uh, made do as long as we could. We made it two months uh, without a car. Yeah. Uh, and uh, with me starting a new job out here and uh, with the little guy back there needing to go to daycare, we needed a second car. So we took this opportunity to maybe go find something else. And uh, I think we landed, we think, uh, on a 2011 
2011 LX570. As other people know, the 200 series. And uh, we are super excited. We do have a little bit of a road trip. I'm gonna be honest, it's gonna be a minute. A little where, bit. Where are we driving to? Oh, Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, according to the GPS, three hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> we have a check in hand. Uh, we are just crossing our fingers that uh, it is good. We got to this point because we were trying to find a third gen that was clean. Uh, could not find one, especially out here uh, in the south. Uh, we oh, found one good one over in, I think it was Virginia. West Virginia. West Virginia. And uh, yeah, it was uh, labeled rust free. I uh, asked for some undercarriage photos. And she's like, oh, it's not too bad at all. I get under there, or she takes photos and I look at it and it's absolutely atrocious. The frame's got holes in it from rust. Um, there's a lot of flaking of the metal around all the body mounts, all that, it's no good. So that scrapped that and then we tried to find a, um, what else did we try to find? Was it a Forerunner? Oh, it was a Forerunner, it was a uh, fourth gen. And uh, so we went from like, 8,000 to 10,000. And uh, the fourth gen was really clean appearing. And uh, I asked for some undercarriage photos and we got rust. So it's we found, like oh yeah. We, don't, we are already dealing with rust on 1.0 here. Uh, and I don't want to deal with it on another view. So we are on our way to go see if this one is truly rust free. All of the photos, it looks perfect. It's a, uh, Three owner, I think it was like a corporate deal. Uh, 159 water, 159,000 original miles, and uh, it looks really clean. Yeah. So we'll see. So we'll bring you guys in later uh, once we get there and able to see it and see how it looks. Uh, and hopefully we'll be driving it home. But we'll see. We've done this before where we we'll get there and it's done. So till then, we're going on this way. Bye. So we are almost there. It's been. It's a clock. Yeah, it's not a clock. A clock, a clock baby. There's a clock. There's a clock. Uh, which, uh, so yeah, it's been about four hours, and uh, we are in Georgia for the first time. At least for me. And uh, we are going to go to the dealer, and hopefully, everything is good to go. And um, we're so we'll be close. good. So close. One point eight miles. We're really on the nervous side because we've just driven four hours, uh, in hopes that this is the right vehicle. I Not will. Say, the worst. I will say though, uh, even if it doesn't work out, which will be shitty, but it was a really beautiful drive. Super beautiful. So saw some waterfalls. Right on the side of the freeway. Yeah, it was super cool. Uh, or so the interstate, whatever we call it out here now. Yeah. Uh, so it was really pretty, really pretty drive. So at least, you know, I got out of the house and got to explore a little bit, even if it's just on the freeway. But overall, we'll see. We'll uh, obviously show when we get there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to uh, soak in these last 1.4 miles and uh, see what happens. It should be good. Stay tuned. All righty, change of scenery. <laughs> so we are in... 2.0 and uh we are doing our test drive um overall i think it's pretty good um how are you happy with it babe? i like it it drives really nice and um i feel like a, a grown-up <laughs> it is definitely a very adult uh rig uh so is the other lexus yeah. um but overall we, we really enjoy it a um, couple small things. The tires on the inside are bald, so it's got an alignment issue at one point in time, and it was never fixed or still has that. Um, what else? A um, couple just small, minor things, so we'll see. Um, yeah, so I'll do a, a walk around video here shortly, um, and that way we can kind of go a little bit more into that and decide if we're going to buy this or not. I think we are, because um, overall I think it's going to be just fine. Um, so we'll see. Okay. Alrighty. So. 2.0. We have 2.0 officially. She's a dirty bitch, I tell you. She's a dirty bitch. She's gonna need tires soon. And uh, 
front bumper has been repainted I found but other than that it's pretty good um, missing a couple small things like the antenna piece up top um, I gotta order one of those um, hopefully once I start at Lexus uh, one of these days and uh, other than that she's pretty good overall we're really happy with the interior is pretty clean and uh, we're gonna make the best of it until then she's gonna be big booty Judy and uh, definitely gonna be stripping these mud flaps off and kind of go from there so 1.0 guys my initial thoughts now we've put about 600 miles on this since we have purchased it uh, this past weekend uh, the wife has actually put most of those miles which are freeway on the way back um, so I've driven it maybe 50 60 miles at best um, so I wanted to give you guys my initial thoughts um, I drove the 1.0 so the 470 for just a couple of months um, completely factory as far as trim goes um, actually, we'll go this way here. Um, and it drove exceptional. The AHC actually is very, um, very smooth. Um, I've got it in comfort mode right now, so it is very, very smooth. Um, and when you do put it in the sporty mode, it definitely firms up. So that is a nice addition. I really do think we will keep the AHC on this um, as long as possible. Um, I've done a lot more research um, and talked to a lot of different people um, and they all kind of agree. Once you figure out the AHC and you know its limitations, so a lot of people, they will overload the AHC and it defaults to low. Um, we were actually out on a trip um, to, um, where'd we go? Not Anza, but we were doing the Bradshaw Trail with the UZJ connection. Um, and we had a gentleman named Hogs, his first time with the family um, in their 100 doing any camping. Um, and he was so overloaded down that it defaults to low. Um, and the worst part about that is he was towing a hitch carrier with more stuff. Four people um, in an LX set for a weekend trip and your first time going out, you're in for a bad time in the uh, 100 on AHC. Um, so I know that you can do sensor slip for them, which I now know um, and we will be doing on this one. Um, you can also change the pressures via tech stream. Um, I didn't know that before. Um, and that would actually, what Ha would need to do is um, start messing with the pressures in the globes and um, or the accumulator and that will get you kind of where you need to be that way you're not having any issues with the AHC defaulting down so that's one observation and so I really do appreciate the AHC the motor um, this one here is very smooth um, 
it's got a lot of pep to it. Um, I've driven the first gen Tundra with this same motor in it, um, and it was very torquey, especially off the line. This one is that same way. Um, it's almost to a fault, and I think that's just because I'm not used to it. So the issue is, is that the Lexus, the 1.0, excuse me, so the 470, it takes a, a quick second for it to recognize throttle, um, and it's a lot smoother um, out of the hole uh, because of that. This one, on the other hand, is like, oh, you wanna go? Let's go right now. So I find myself taking off from the uh, stop um, and getting a little bit of a head uh, whip to the back just because of, uh, I'm not used to the throttle. The brakes on this, the brakes are great, um, with the exception of my 470 is almost immediate. As soon as you put your foot on the brake, it is nearly there. With this one, I don't have that. There's a, it's almost like slipping a clutch. So with a clutch, you clutch in, clutch in, clutch in, and then you get engagement. With this one, it is very much like that. Um, there's a lot of slack in it and I don't know what is causing that. Um, I'm not sure if that is a just an all 200 thing um, or it's maybe just how the Lexus has tuned it. Um, it's kind of funky, it's gonna take some getting used to um, unless of course anyone on here has any recommendations on ways to fix that or maybe the system needs to be bled. We do have 160,000 miles on it so, you know, but the fluids all look really good. Um, so, I don't know, let me know in the comments what you guys think of that. Um, other than that, it drives like a dream. The wife is absolutely thrilled with how it drives. Um, and I'm gonna have to agree, this thing is going to be an absolute amazing addition to our rigs. And um, I am really super excited to start adding some modifications to it. Um, we've got a couple of small things. Um, first and foremost, it needs floor mats. The factory floor mats are okay in the front, but the back is kind of dingy. It's, a, it's an original WeatherTech. We want to upgrade those. And uh, we also want to go ahead and do wheels and tires. The Lexus comes stock on 20s. Um, it's not really my thing. Um, as you guys have seen, we recently moved out to Tennessee. Um, 20 is just entry level. Uh, for anyone who's uh, our East Coasters, it is very common to see a, a rig on 20s uh, or even some people that do 22s or 24s, not for us. Um, all that chrome won't get you home. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and probably go to a 17 inch method or equivalent. We want it to be functional. I wanna be able to air it down and not have any issues. And that is my biggest focus. Um, We'll probably honestly go to a 285, 70 or 75, 50, uh, 17, excuse me. Um, I think that's probably one of the best uh, setups for this. I have seen some guys with no lift doing 35s, but you do have to do the correct tire and wheel combination as well as a body mount chop. Um, I'm not quite there yet, uh, but we will get there. Um, I have no problem cutting this thing up. Um, I just don't think without gears, it's a wise move. Um, and I wanna retain as much of the pep in the step as possible. And I think honestly, just going to a 33 is going to be it. Um, overall, other than that, that's probably gonna be it for a little bit. Next will be sliders, and then we'll figure it out from there. But sound system, absolutely amazing. It really makes me wish the 470 had the factory sound system in it. Um, the previous owners to mine had changed all of it out. Um, all the speakers have been changed out. The amps have been changed out. The only thing left was the factory head unit, um, which I am working on replacing and doing a pre-nav swap on it. Just unfortunately, it's a lot of money, but it is what it is. I, I do know I will enjoy it more once that is the case because the factory nav, even on this one, is better um, compared to the 470, but these are still very much so old school, needs an update. I do know that I've seen some guys do the Tesla units. I had it, not the biggest fan. Um, it's very clunky, it would crash all the time, and I would have nothing but sinking issues. Um, and it's really just not something I wanna do. Um, I'm not a really a big Android uh, lover. So unfortunately, um, that's not gonna be in the rig. But overall, which by the way, I think I've said overall a lot, and I'm sorry guys. 
Um, I just really am excited about this rig. It cleans up nice. Um, I think with some new wheels and tires, it's really gonna look amazing. Um, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, head back home. I'm gonna start working on uploading this video. Um, I do apologize, guys. It's been a little bit crazy with the move. Um, we've been uh, trying to find new jobs. Um, as you guys know, I'm a uh, professional auto detailer by trade. Um, I'm since hanging that up, which my body is very thankful for, um, and I am going to go into the car sales business. I did sales for, for probably a little over 10 years. Um, I was really good at it and loved it. Um, I just really liked being my own boss. Um, and uh, so yeah, it's definitely gonna be a little bit of a, uh, a change. Um, but I'm really excited about it. It's gonna afford some new opportunities for us, um, as well as some discounts on parts, which I'm really excited about, um, and service. Um, but overall, anyone who's uh, still stuck in California, um, I won't go on too much of a rant, but uh, holy hell, is this state amazing. Uh, oh, there's a lot of people are gonna be like, stop saying that, say it sucks. Um, and if you're one of those people, I'm sorry, Tennessee sucks wink. Uh, no, the state's absolutely amazing. The people here have just been very much welcoming. Um, so nice, very willing to help in any way, shape or form that they can. Um, and if you guys have seen any of this drive out the windows, it is gorgeous. This state offers so much as far as beauty goes. We are going to have to drive a little bit more, um, for some trails. Um, and we're not really going to have that same, um, luxury um, as we did in Southern California, which was pretty much go five minutes, 10 minutes up the road, and I'm now in BLM land or national forest and I can go wheeling anywhere. I don't have that now. Now we're gonna have to drive a little bit more, um, try out parks, different states, but Kentucky from us is, I think, uh, 30 minutes away, 45 minutes away. So there's a lot that's still close by. Um, there's some, you know, beautiful, beautiful states and some actually some great stuff locally here. Um, just not the same what we're used to, but all changes, not necessarily great. Um, it's just adapting to your new normal. Um, and we really do think that this is going to be an amazing addition for us. Um, just the state, this vehicle, um, everything. I think it's gonna be good. So. All of that, um, also really quickly, I have noticed so many of these here. In SoCal, I would see a 200 series, maybe once in a blue moon. Um, out here, um, I passed on that side. You guys didn't see two of them. Um, I've seen a couple of actual Land Cruiser propers, um, but a lot of the LX 570s. So it's for such a low production vehicle, it's really kind of nice to see them driving around. You don't really get that in SoCal a whole lot. Um, but yeah, there's a strong Lexus community out here, which is really kind of cool. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what's out there and uh, kind of exploring a little bit. But overall, I'm really excited about it. Um, with that said, uh, stay tuned guys. I'm gonna have some old content I need to publish um, just prepping for the move and everything of such because we started this process last year. So I was backlogged a lot, so I do apologize for that. We're gonna get some new stuff out um, and we'll go from there. So thanks so much for tuning in guys. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you love our new addition to the family. Uh, this 570 is going to get used. It is not gonna be a grocery getter. The wife has already given me the green light because she wants to actually build it out. Um, she's super excited to actually pick a lot of what goes into it. And I'm really excited to have her involved in the process because anyone whose um, wife's out there who's not a fan of their hobbies, it's really hard to get them to buy into something if they're not involved in it. Mine wants to really be involved in this one, so I'm really super excited about that, and I'm gonna cherish every minute of it because it's not too often your wife's gonna allow you to go ahead and spend a whole lot of money on her vehicle, um, especially modifying it, and she's gonna be actually really uh, happy to get out there. The goal is to actually have both of these rigs out on the trail, um, just because I've something I've always wanted to do. Um, I love driving, so does she. Um, sometimes, unfortunately, she has to drive a nice spot, so it would be nice to be able to do some of the same things that she's gonna be doing, but actually me behind the wheel without having to have her do it, turn around, go back down, do it for me to do it, um, and then keep going. It's kind of uh, time consuming, where this, I can spot her up or she can spot me up. 
and uh, get it going. So I'm really excited about that. So nevertheless, guys, um, on these tangents, um, <laughs> sorry, nevertheless, guys, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I will talk to you soon. I hope you guys are all well um, and look forward to some new videos I'll be putting out hopefully soon.